Hello friends, do you love traveling? In this video we will talk about why traveling is actually very important for your self-development as well. I'm Nadia and on this channel I talk about business and self-development topics, so consider subscribing and I will get something to drink. Well, traveling makes people mature and happy. My first travel was like a big travel was when I was 13 years old. I went flying from Vladivostok city in the Russian Far East to Moscow, St. Petersburg and Southwest Russia. And this was like 9,000 kilometers away from each other. So it was a really long flight. And this was the first time I realized that the world is much bigger than you see and that the life is much more rich and diverse than you see. And later when I traveled in different parts of the world, like in Europe, in Asia, in um, America, I've collected so many like great impressions, you know, and they all are kept in my mind, in my subconsciousness. And this gives me the experience of yeah, happiness and maturity. Traveling is my passion, I can say. It's my also lifestyle in some like parts of my life. I've been traveling so much that it was actually a lifestyle yeah, and still is even during those pandemic times. I like to move a lot, you know, from one city to the other. And also I traveled a lot in Russia itself, and it's a huge country and, you know, traveling from Kaliningrad, located close to Poland in Europe, to Kamchatka, which is close to Alaska. And I've always been to Alaska, by the way, you know, so only the Russia itself is such a huge place if you travel all over. And I'm so thankful to have those experience. You see, when you stay in one place all the time, you collect so much things you basically don't need yeah and so much habits you don't need and when you travel when you move so to say also from one place to another you know you move from one house to another you have to leave old unnecessary baggage behind you you want to leave it also as well otherwise you just keep it but when you move you you somehow you want to leave the, you know, the luggage behind and also here, you know, with your habits, when you travel, you have to give up some of your habits because they are just impossible while traveling, you know, it's impossible to keep those habits and you realize more and more that they are not necessary, yeah, you don't need those, some of those routines. And it's very important actually because our life consists of the things we repeatedly do and our habits actually build our life. And if we have some habits which are not useful for us or just uh, useless, yeah, they are not making us happy. And traveling helps us to be aware of those habits and to get rid of the habits we don't need. Traveling gives you real experience about the world. It's not something you can like Google and then watch on the screen. Yeah, it's not something you see on Instagram, for example, or on YouTube. It's uh, the experience that you you get of real life, of, of different mentalities, of different cultures, of different traditions, different, you know, habits people have around the world. And you learn it, um, it gets like in your, um, it becomes your experience. It's uh, not just an intellectual knowledge. It's not like uh, knowledge from some, you know, university. It's something that stays with you and it actually makes you a different person because you somehow take it with you, you know, take this knowledge, this experience with you. So it's very exciting how it changes your perspective, how you become much more flexible and also happy at the end. Traveling makes you learn a lot about yourself, about how your mind functions yeah because you will encounter a lot of unexpected situations where you will react in the way that you didn't expect <laughs> because in everyday life you don't meet those situations yeah so you will learn a lot about your mind about how spontaneous you are or not very spontaneous how you're ready to let things go yeah because when you travel you 
you cannot take things with you. You have to let go all the time. Yeah? You have to enjoy it, be able to enjoy it and be able to let it go. And this is such a great lesson because in our life, we, we desperately need this knowledge. We need to learn to enjoy life and we need to learn to let go. It's just while traveling, it becomes so obvious. So you learn a lot about yourself. You become a completely different person after you travel. And also you become very like um, rich in your mind, yeah? Because there are so many great impressions. You see so many beautiful places, not always beautiful, but also a lot of beauty, you know, in the cities, in the, in the nature, and it's kept with you. you. It changes you as well. By the way, check out my mom's traveling account on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description below. You know, she's traveled around the world, like <laughs> basically everywhere. And you will be amazed how many places she's been. She, she has a lot to share, so make sure to check it out. When you travel, you also get to know a lot of people, yeah? And if you are the person who likes people, and I tell you, I'm the one who loves people, yeah? So, I travel mostly, like on the first place, for getting to know people, mentalities, cultures. It's for me much more interesting than only seeing, you know, like cities and everything. Of course, nature is great, also very important for me. And, and I love the cities and all the architecture and all the places for tourists as well. But getting to know people, you know, how they function, you know, how, how their minds function, how they see the world. This is what interests me actually the most when I travel. And that's why I make so many contacts with people and while traveling, you know, that now no matter which continent I travel, I have people there, friends and people I know where I can also stay, you know. So, so when you stay at somebody's home, you get to know the culture, you know, from the inside. And I also lived in some countries for longer than, you know, just uh, coming to visit. I will write uh, much more about my travel experience in my book that I'm writing. I'm very excited about it. And I also ask you what you want me to write about. And you said traveling. So make sure, uh, like, I will make sure and you can be sure that the traveling chapter will be in this book. I will talk more about my traveling experience there. Yes, and even if you like don't have that many contacts nowadays, there are a lot of online, you know, uh, services where you can register and you can actually stay at people's homes around the world, which can give you like a much deeper experience. Yeah. But if you are more introvert and you don't like, you know, to get to know people that close, yeah, it's totally fine. You can stay in hotels. This is how my mother is doing. Yeah. So my mom, if you check out her website, she also has like um, detailed information about different places. She can also make a tour for you, like with all the details where you have to stay, like where you can stay, which places to visit and so on. So you can, if you would like this uh, to get this, let me know in the comments and I will provide this information for you. Yeah, and also, I hope you liked this video. It, for me, it was very like coming from my heart. It's something I really love. And uh, I would like you also to watch my video with my mom. Like we travel around Vladivostok, city my home, hometown, and we just so, uh, show you different places. Um, you can, yeah, this video, I will put it somewhere here. And yeah, also watch other videos of mine on self-development. And please write me a comment and tell me if you like traveling and why. And see you in my next video.